Today I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to discuss a feature of InDesign called Data Merge, very similar to features in other applications that allow you to do things like mail merge, create envelopes with the appropriate addresses in place, or insert names or particular pieces of information into a brochure or, or form letter based on the fact that this needs to go to multiple individuals and I'd like to be able to create one document but insert the appropriate fields into each of those locations and not have to recreate the document over and over and over again. In order to do this you're going to need two things. You'll need the original document, in our case a business card where I'd like to be able to place the name of a sales representative, their email address and phone number and then also you'll need to have a file that contains the list that we're talking about. Uh, the list that we're talking about here has been created in uh, Excel in this particular case or any spreadsheet uh, application will, will suffice. Uh, and what we're interested in of course is the list of particular individuals that we're talking about here so if we come up here and take a look you'll notice that <clears throat> there is a header field that contains name, email, and phone number and we have a list of individuals that will be placed into the document at the appropriate time. Uh, once this is available to you or once you've made this particular file in order for InDesign to use it it needs to be saved in a generic format uh, which is usually referred to as a CSV file, a comma separated value file. So all that's necessary in a spreadsheet application is to do a file to save as, change the save as type to uh, CSV. So in this case if I were to do a file to save as, choose the specific saving location and then change the format down here, you'll notice that one of the options is comma separated value which has already been accomplished for us because you'll see there's a CSV file uh, available to us to make use of in our directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on cancel for that and go back over to the document in InDesign. In order to do this what we'll need is a specific panel opened. That panel is the data merge panel and that can be found under window in the menu down to utilities. It's window in the menu to utilities and then in the utilities area you'll find data merge. And when the dialog box opens up or when the property sheet opens up, you'll notice that it basically tells you there are three things necessary in order for this to work. We have to select a data source. And we'll do that through the panels menu, which is on the right hand side over here in the upper right hand corner. So if I click on my menu option for the data merge panel, you'll see that select data source is my first option. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then, of course, what it'll allow me to do then is browse to the location where the appropriate uh, CSV file has been stored, which our CSV file happens to be in this particular same directory that our business card information is stored in. So I'll make that choice and click on Open. And when you do that, you'll notice that the fields that were the headers for that particular spreadsheet now are available to us. In order to insert this, in order for this to work, all I'll need to do is find the location where I want the name field to be inserted. So in this case, if I come to the placeholder that I have here, I can just select that particular item. And all I did was double click on that text field in order to convert to the type tool and then selected it. And now all I need to do is choose the name field and it'll automatically insert <clears throat> that field into this particular file you'll see inside a set of double brackets the value of the field header and I can do that for the additional fields that we want to replace so email I can do the same thing double click to select the value and in the data merge dialog box click on uh, email same thing for placeholder double click the placeholder I should say for phone uh, click the placeholder and in the panel go ahead and click on phone. And in order for this to now complete uh, in the data merge panel there's the create merge documents button immediately under the menu and all I have to do is select that 
and it allows me now to make a few choices so I can choose a specific single record that I'd like to be able to merge. I can choose a range of records that I'd like to merge. In my case, I will, I'll leave the all records radio button selected. All right. Uh, and also, there are a couple of checkboxes down here. Uh, generate over text, overset text report with a document. So in other words, if the area that I've designated uh, to be replaced is not large enough to contain the text, I'll get an overset text report. Uh, and also, if I were working with images, then I would get an alert if there happened to be a missing image. So what I'm going to end up doing is clicking on OK. It'll automatically generate a new document as a result. But it's in my case, there's the alert. No overset text was generated when the information was merged. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And what I'll do next is I'll minimize the dialog, uh, the mail, the, the merge, the data merge panel, and kind of move it to the side here. And you'll notice now that I have six new uh, instances of this business card with the appropriate information in each of those particular instances. So if I go to any of the business cards that exist here, you'll see all the available information has been inserted. So the name, email addresses, uh, and phone numbers have all been replaced, all simply due to the ability to make use of data merge and creating a single document and then a single source file that contain the fields that I would like to replace.